Lord go. Oh, we still go go. That did not go as well as I planned. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. I hope you are all doing well, and I hope you have all enjoyed the content so far. I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all doing good. Please, if you are excited for today's video, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and let's get it freaking going, people. So all of last week, I actually sat around 174 pounds. One day, and one day only, I had a weigh-in of 173 pounds on the dot. The rest of them were like 174.5, 173.9, 174.2, stuff like that. I was 174 pounds for the entire week. And if it hadn't have just been Easter weekend, which it has been, and uh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? But anyway. I think I would have had that drop by now, but I haven't had it just yet. It's coming, I know I can tell by... This is a bit bizarre, right? When it gets to the end of the day and I've had three meals solid, I had like, you know, whatever I wanted to eat, I've had my snacks and I've had my shakes and all this kind of stuff. If I get to the end of the day and I look at myself in the mirror when I'm brushing my teeth, and I, I always, what I do, this is weird and potentially very vain, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway, because I recommend that you guys do something similar. It's a good way to kind of track your, your own progress mentally, right? If I'm doing my teeth in the mirror like this, I'll tell you what, I'll just pull my, bring in. If I'm doing my teeth like this, push, 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 and then I just go, hmm. Not only is that, a little bit more practice for my vacuum is actually one of the ways that I track my, my progress. And if I think, right, at the end of the day, I look better than I did at the start of the day. Something's happened in my body, water weight wise, body weight wise, whatever. And I'm gonna wake up the following day and feel good. I had that last night, but I didn't wake up this morning with a new low weigh-in. So it is pending people, it is due, it is well overdue, but we are gonna drop down into the 173 pounds, which is where we are supposed to be as of today, because today is Easter Monday, and it was supposed to be 173 pounds. Technically, we've already hit it. We just need to be below it, because I'm picky like that. Instagram slash YouTube, let's do this. Oh my lord! He's only gone and bloody smashed it. 
Hey, yeah, smashed it. Drop the video a like if you saw that on Instagram before today. You a real OG. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Lateral raises, a real humbling exercise where you train five, six days a week for three, four years and you still only use 10 to 12 kilos. Fuck me. One thing I do like doing with lateral raises though is changing it up a little bit because obviously at commercial gyms you have like these machines but I tend to not really fit machines very well. I'm a funny shape, right? I'm short, quite wide, not really meant for your average Joe kind of 5'10", 6 foot, like longer limbs. I don't tend to fit into that kind of category and so machines do feel a bit funny for me sometimes. So I like to mix up dumbbell lateral raises, cable lateral raises, stuff like that. And uh, that works a lot more, a lot better for me. Except for that one machine at Emporium. I do really, really like that machine at Emporium. Speaking of Emporium, the best gym series will resume better than ever. I'm in contact with a few different gyms right now and speaking to them about when it reopens, kind of what we can do, get you guys involved as well. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping to get like a few of you guys along and get you in for free, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I can't, I can't guarantee that even for myself or you guys. So, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best, but what I do want to do with the Best Gym series once this kind of all blows over is travel around as much as I possibly can, within reason obviously, and then go to gyms, train with you guys, see you guys, get to meet you guys, and it would just be, just be a cool experience and a nice way to get back to normal, you know? So that's kind of what I'm thinking, but it's going to take time, so stick with me in the meantime. So I've had these packages from my protein actually for a few days now um, and I've not had a chance to kind of open them. I wanted to save opening them on camera. I put them on my story a few days back but with the 500th video and the transformation video and all this kind of stuff I've not had a, a vlog to kind of squeeze these into. Obviously this didn't fit into the story of like what I was doing on those days. So anyway, I'm going to crack them open now. Package numero uno. Oh, by the way, my protein packaging is now uh, recyclable, or at least this new stuff is anyway. So, very, 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 very excited about that. And also, very excited about these. I saw these and kind of hoped that I would be able to get my hands on them. Um, and they are the new shorts. What are they called? Men's woven training shorts in blue camo. Fab. The reason I actually wanted these was because of the zip-up pockets and the simple lightweightness of the shorts. I'm a very hot individual that doesn't really like wearing joggers unless he has to because it's cold or I'm doing a photo shoot or something like that. So having a couple of pairs of shorts, because this is another pair of shorts here, oh my days. This new recyclable packaging is difficult to open. Men's woven training shorts, carbon distress of course. Sick. I like that they've gone for like a standoutish yellowy label just because the packaging is actually quite dark and quite filled in. If you can see the MP, I don't know, it just means nothing. You literally rip the tag off, but I think it's kind of cool. I swear to God, this new packaging. Maybe it's just me. Men's distressed performance t-shirt. So does this go with the other shorts? When they say distressed, they don't mean like your jeans are distressed, they've got rips in it. They mean that it has this kind of 
well, distressed pattern on it. This feels nice. This feels very unique, team. I've never actually felt anything quite like this before. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. So a couple more to go. We have a dry tech t-shirt. I'll save that for last because that's probably going to be my favorite. And a distressed tank top. Thank you now. I mean, you can cope with the fact that it's a bit more difficult to open because you can actually recycle it. Oh, oh, Jesus, man, there we go. How are we looking? How are we looking? Okay, it's kind of like a cut-off type thing. I actually don't know. You see how it cuts off here rather than it being a, a stringer kind of vest. Last but not least, we have the new Dry Tech t-shirt. Now, I always tell you guys to get the Dry Tech t-shirts because they actually make you look way bigger than you actually are. So it'll be interesting to see whether the brand new stuff also makes you look bigger than you are. I can confirm it makes you look bigger than you actually are. I really like this colour as well. I was going to rock the vest today, but I might have to rock this, you know? I just I, I just really, really, really like the dry tech stuff. That is that for those, team. You can expect pics in these coming up on my Instagram, so follow me down below if you have not already, LSJ underscore fitness. You are missing out on daily me if you are not following on there. Plus, it's free, just like YouTube. You know what else is free? Hitting the like button on the video. Costs you nothing. And it really helps me out. And it takes two seconds. You could have literally done it by now. Have you done it? You have? Good. Good, good. <laughs> well, don't mind me just gathering up my recyclable packaging. Probably go and stick this in the recycling bin because I love the environment. Ooh, one more. Can't forget that one. Oh, and by the way, that just landed straight in my bin, by the way. I didn't just chuck it on my bedroom floor. Um, by the way, you can use the code LSJ. Have I mentioned I have a discount code for this my protein malarkey? The codes never actually used to work on the brand new clothing. They do now. So go nuts. LSJ, 37% off. If you do decide to use the code, send me a screenshot over on my Instagram. I've mentioned it multiple times in this video already. LSJ underscore fitness, give me a follow, send me the screenshot, and I will enter you into the monthly giveaway. I have a notes on my phone, a notes list on my phone that I just stick into a random name generator every single month, and then someone wins something my protein related. A bigger prize than these weekly ones. By the way, next thing. <laughs> Pull-up challenge. Winner of that will be announced in tomorrow's video. Alongside that, we will announce this week's challenge where you will have Wednesday till Sunday to enter it in. I'm so happy with how this is going, guys, because, like, you guys are getting up and about and not only doing physically active things, you're, you're, you're thinking, you know, with your brain. You're using this thing up here. And it's, uh, it's just nice to, to have that kind of... You know? I don't know what to call this video, you know. I'm, I'm scrolling through it right now, thinking of, of key things that I've said that I can call it. I, I was going to call it training with subscribers, but I might actually call it. Are you going to go nuts at me if I call it this? No, no. Because it is literally exactly what it says in the tin. This is the problem you have when you make YouTube videos, right? Because you have to call it a certain thing, use the thumbnails, use the titles. Otherwise, no one's going to see it. That's literally just how YouTube works. It's the way of the beast. So, I think I'm going to call it first session in the new home gym because it's the first session that you guys have seen in the new transformed home gym it is literally exactly what it says on the tin however it is slightly baity but home gyms are a topic right now so yeah you guys will forgive me won't you so the next video people we will have a little update on this old sheet here that one right there if you remember it from a few weeks back um it's my diet kind of goals obviously everything has changed the world has changed since I set out those goals. Um, everything has kind of been pushed back, including the summer shredding deadline. So I think we're gonna have a little bit of a reevaluation of the goals and that will be live tomorrow. So we'll see you all then because that is Wednesday. If you're new here, the official upload schedule is Wednesday and Sunday and we just pump out as many videos as we possibly can in between. So that is gonna be it for this one. If you have enjoyed it, please do me a favor, drop it a like. It really, really, really helps out. I've noticed that if we get above 60, they tend to do well. So let's get it above 60. If you've not already liked it, do it. If it's above 60, still do it. And that's gonna be that, team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all safe, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all being kept amused and keeping active 
with these videos, get involved with the challenges, stay tuned for tomorrow's, and I will see you then. Thank you so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow, and I will see you beautiful people in the next one.